Hey, what's a crack of lacking, guys? Wow, I'm really close to the camera. Back it up, back it up, Terry. I got a plant here. Hey, guys, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. As always, stay tipsy. Don't know why I say that, but welcome to the channel. We're going to talk about tack today. I just feel like a nerd making these videos out in the wilderness, you know? Of the animals listening to me like... Yeah, this guy's a little weird, huh? So, and weird, but regardless, what we're going to talk about today is a total archery challenge. I guess like what I want to tell you about is some tips, some tricks, um, some suggestions. I want to talk about the little bit of nitty gritty, you know, and takes time to talk about. You know, maybe it'll help someone in the future. And we're gonna do this video a little st different style. I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna talk while I'm shooting. Let's let's talk about the first thing: registration of tack. Um, if no one's told you, it's it's awful. Last year, when whenever which was our first year when we went to TAC and we realized that we couldn't get a Saturday hunt or not hunt Saturday shoot um we seen Sunday and we were all separate from each other and we like we were like okay let's pick this time let's shoot at this time this day if they were out you know we went through that for about 45 minutes and we were away from each other and um, each time we would be going to pick out something we we're trying to check out at the same time you know one of the time slots would go so we'd have to start all over but if you have the time you have the capability you know all meet up together talk about you know what you want to do have a backup plan you know hey we're going to shoot saturday we're going to shoot sunday um what times you the guys thinking and then have one person do it this year they tried to do like a queue system. Like as soon as they opened up registration, you're supposed to go in there, put your email, and then they give you a time frame to go fill it, you know, fill it out. So you have to get in there early. So and it's really early. So, you know, even if we wanted to get a group together and all do it at the same time, we can't. Because last year we weren't together. So this year I took it on and I was the one to do the registration. So my recommendation one hundred percent is just it, and it's getting and you know it's all gaining pot you know it's gaining traction here so it's really busy so lower your expectations on the time slots you want or the day and just take what you can get at least from my experience i haven't had any positivity especially if you have a big group if you only have two people three people yeah you you probably could get in a spot real easy um no doubt so that is my first recommendation is be ready for the registration to kind of suck um that's the nitty-gritty of that part we're going to talk about the equipment so 
Let me tell you first all and first off, my recommendation is if you're new to archery, you're new to the 3D shooting and you want to go, you don't need it. You know, in general, you don't need the best of the best. You don't need a chest pack. You don't need a range finder. You don't need, you know, this. I would probably recommend at least a range finder just because you don't want to lose your arrows, but you don't need it. You know, when I started, I shot 3D archery. I went out and I have nothing. I didn't have anything. I had an old bow that wasn't tuned. It wasn't even set up for me. I started out really rough. I started out shooting really rough and for a long time because, you know, I was just that person that got in the woods and I hunted and I shot two weeks before hunting season and I got it close enough. And, you know, shooting 20, 20, 30 yards, it, it doesn't matter. You're shooting 20, 30 yards. It doesn't. Yes, shooting further, it's going to matter. But get out there and do it. That's all, that's all you have to do. 100%. Is this thing on? All right, so I was letting my microphone charge a little bit, but um, shot a little bit here and there. Um, so let's talk about this. There's a bush in my way. <laughs> so my next re recommendation is try to plant it so you can stay. Um, that would be 100% my recommendation because we showed up last year, and first year we didn't know what we were getting into, so... We were super excited to look at everything, all the vendors, everybody else shooting, and we were nervous. So we didn't get up and shoot anything. The only thing I shot, I was the only one that shot, was the Exodus um, metal target they had. And on Sunday, they kind of start um, getting, you know, getting rid of everything early. So if you're staying, you're going Sunday, even any day. I would try to stay and go early. So then. You can see all the vendors. You can even go, if you go the day before, you can go see the vendors and then you can fe focus on the shoot on that day. So um, that's what I would do. That would be my recommendation. Because going into it, we really didn't know what to expect. And now that I have a little bit of knowledge, maybe this will help somebody. Um, yeah, make sure that you take lots of water. That's typical. Everybody should know that, you know, especially some of the terrain that some of these shoots get into but um yeah well i don't know get out and shoot so i don't really know how to address everything so i don't shoot the best arrows they're heavy you know i haven't i don't have the time to fine tune everything um I do like to fletch, but I didn't get to fletch these arrows. They came pre-fletched, but don't worry so much about that. If you're going to go to a shoot, just make sure you have lots of arrows and they hit in the general area because you're there to have fun. You're not there for a competition. You're, that's exactly what you're there for. And if you are there to compete, then yeah, 100%. Arrows are single most important thing, like about shooting accurately at far distances. And, but you don't have to spend $250 on a dozen of arrows to get a good arrow. There's a lot of options out there. A lot of things on YouTube that people can show you. Um, there's a lot of cheaper options and to get you by too. Like if you don't got the money, that's what I recommend. So next thing is, um, we kind of, since we went on Sunday, we don't we didn't know what to expect if you'd shoot Saturday because it seems like there's a lot of wait times um, on Saturday. So that's one thing people complain about is if you shoot on a regular day, like a Friday or Saturday, there's going to be a lot of people there. So make sure that you're ready to wait. Make sure you have the time for the day. Make sure you have the whole day. Because you're going to get hungry. You're going to get snacky. You want to enjoy yourself too. So after you shoot, you might want to take a break. If you're going to do two shoots, you know. And that's one thing. Let's talk about that. So that's confusing. Is how do you do multiple shoots? No one tells you. It doesn't show, show you anything. And you're wondering. You're left wondering. How can I do two shoots? Is it even possible? Do I have to register for two shoots? Well, you don't. You don't have to register for two shoots. 
Um, and I wish I would have known this. I wish they would put this on there, but um, you don't have to register. So what you do is you register for your first shoot, and then if you have time, Oh, that was a funky one. Ooh, I think I punched the trigger really good there, and I'm proponent of punching the trigger. But back to what we were talking about is don't don't worry about it. If you want to make two shoots, all you do is sign up for the early one, get done with it, and go to the second one. I wish they would kind of indicate that on Sundays, but that's uh, a lot of it's kind of clear. It's clear as mud, if I would say the least. And... But that's a recommendation. If you want to do two shoots, you've got to get an early slot. But then you can just go do the next shoot. You don't have to pay for it. You already registered. You already paid for your whole day. So, you know, show up early, hit your shoot, go to the next shoot if you want to do it. That's something they don't tell you about. Oh, what am I doing? Coming back further, gonna shoot a little bit more, we'll be done for the day. So, dropping my phone. Alright. So, um, if I'm gonna recommend anything gear wise, it would be definitely something to hold your arrows. Uh, a lot of arrows. So, um, whether you take a backpack or not, some people don't like taking backpacks because it's hot. So, that being said, um, you know, that's why some people like this, side pouches and everything. I don't really prefer those, in my opinion. Um, I have bad hips from carpentry and just in general. So they always put strain on my back and everything, but, um, yeah. Let's see here. I don't know if I can, can you see that? See the target that way. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, gear wise, I'd probably say. Comfy boots, hiking boots, um, for sure. I wouldn't take shoes. I wouldn't take work boots. Um, they don't got to be the best. I'm wearing a pair of Timberlands. Um, got for Christmas. Very comfortable, hundred bucks. So, um, lightweight. But anyways, besides the point. <laughs> That's what I would recommend. And uh, drink, bring lots of water. Uh, there is water stops, so uh, bring some extra containers. Something I would I wish that I knew going into this is that uh, there was those water stops. I didn't realize that. So take a jug of water. Maybe like one of those light plastic ones so it's not super heavy. I did take a metal one, so I don't recommend doing that. Ooh, that sounded low. I think it was. <laughs> uh, I, I took too long. I do that a lot of times. Um, let's see. There's all kinds of things you could take and go into, but... Alright, so... <coughs> is there something you need? There's like a product you need? There's arrows you need to buy there's anything like that i they have it all there it's everything if you if you want a hip quiver they got it there you got arrows they got it there they they literally have anything that you need um lancaster was there for us i imagine most places are going to have one um it's not far for lancaster so maybe lancaster goes to all of them i don't know i couldn't tell you i don't have too much information on the other ones so 
But if you do need any equipment, they they usually buy arrow everything. They have everything. Let's see. Um, trying to think. There's a lot of things that when we went into it, I was like, I wish I knew about that. I wish I knew, and I can't think of it. Hmm. All right, so let's talk about one more thing, guys. Last thing I'm going to talk about. <coughs> My apologies. All right, so um, <sighs> something I would recommend is next year or any year, go to some th your local 3D shoots. Show up, go to the local 3D shoots around your area. They're a lot of fun, and you're supporting a local club. This isn't really tack related, but it, it kind of is. Like that would be. 100% recommendation. People don't realize that there's um, clubs that throw these 3D shoots on and or they know about TAC or I, you know, you guys need to look into that. Um, we have a club, we throw a 3D shoot and 100% recommend doing it because it gets you practice. Um, some of them are official. You can do other 3D like official 3D shoots and uh, ASA shoots and everything like that. It's it's honestly awesome what they do or what they can do, you know. So that'd be my last recommendation. Take a look, see if your club, local club, has someone join in and help them. Um, you know, this might not be 100% great knowledge for you. You might already know that, but. That would be my thing, getting getting involved in your local club. Promote the outdoors. We need, uh, you know, younger kids. We need them out there. We need them going out. So, if, you know, we promote tack. We promote outdoors. We promote, you know, there's so much, like, the reason why, like, I, like, uh, give you an example, local bow shop. Um, archery is one of those things people get a little afraid to get into because people take it so seriously. And, you know, if you want to be a great shooter, yeah, take it very seriously. But most of us are only going to be a good shooter. Me, I'm a subpar shooter, so I'm not even good. And that's kind of why I like it, because I don't have to be good to enjoy it. I don't have to be. You know, I've played hockey, um, a lot of deck hockey, a lot of ice hockey, and this is just calming. As you get older, you need something relaxing. Yes, it could piss you off when you lose an arrow, but um, I'll leave you with that. I'll say one last thing about tack is go with friends. Enjoy yourself. There, at the one we go, you show up, you go to your time. Go to the registration, you pick up your shirt that you're registered for, and then you wait till it's your time, and then you go on a bus and they take you to your spot, or you walk there. So if you didn't know that, um join if you have any other questions, guys. I'm not much of a vlogger. I want to do it, and you know, maybe this video might not get a lot of views, but I figured I'm shooting my bow today. I'm adjusting. I'm trying to get ready for tack at some at uh, some way, and um, you know, get out and shoot. That's what they always say. But I don't. If you don't have time like me, just make time. If you get one day a month or something, because you're getting out there and shooting, you're gonna be a professional good tack. You'll you'll go there. You'll see everybody all suited up, chest pack, quivers, blah blah blah. Don't worry about that. You're there to have fun. I'm not there to impress anybody. Most of these 3D local 3D shoots as well are the same way. So get out there, stay tipsy. Hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys stopping in and watching. And I hope you like the style because if you do, I will make more. <laughs>